Welcome back to ZOS Introduction. This is the 21st video in the series. The learning objective is to describe virtual storage, describe an address space, and describe page, frame, and slots. The operating system consists of program instructions and data. An application program consists of program instructions and data. Computer hardware provides a contiguous range of addresses to store instruction code and data that belong to the operating system and application programs. The address range for operating system and application program code and data is a virtual address range. The virtual storage addresses need some physical resources to hold the code and data represented by the virtual storage addressing mechanism. One physical resource available to hold the code and data represented by the virtual storage addressing mechanism is random access memory, commonly referred to as RAM. The RAM is segmented or broken down into addressable areas to store operating system and application program code and data. ZOS keeps track of the mapping between virtual storage address and RAM storage addresses using translation tables. The computer identified memory locations is called addressability. A second physical resource available to hold the code and data represented by the virtual storage addressing mechanism is auxiliary storage. The auxiliary storage is segmented into addressable areas to store operating system and application program code and data. ZOS keeps track of the mapping between virtual storage address and auxiliary storage addresses using the same translation tables. The operating system and application programs are a collection of executable modules for the code and data. Each operating system and application program executable module is either started or submitted to become active. Each active executable module is called an address space. Each address space is segmented into 4K chunks called pages. Each page is assigned a contiguous range of virtual storage addresses, starting with address zero. The virtual page addresses need a physical location. The physical locations are RAM and auxiliary storage. Both RAM and auxiliary storage areas are segmented in 4K chunks to hold a virtual page. The RAM resource is segmented into frames, where each frame has a unique address from the pool of available primary processing memory. The auxiliary resource is segmented into slots, where each slot has a unique address from the pool of available secondary processing memory. System translation tables are available to map page, addresses to frame addresses, and slot addresses. The result is that each page of an address space is physically held in a frame or slot. The pages may occupy different frame and slot addresses during program execution. The reassignment of a page from a frame to a slot or from a slot to a frame is called paging. Sources of information to reinforce this computer science concept is available in the URLs on the chart. The last three URLs are extremely detailed explanations of memory processing. In summary, now you are better able to describe virtual storage, describe an address space, and describe page, frame, and slots. Thank you for your time.